Donald Trump has slammed the latest charges of dishonesty, deceit and fraud against him as a fake. Uh, the former US president's accused of attempting to overturn the result of the 2020 US presidential election, uh, linking him to the January the 6th Capitol riots. In footage released of the insurrection, you may remember seeing a rioter wearing a horned headdress with uh, his face painted with the colours of the American flag. Jacob Chansley was jailed over... Uh, his participation in the riot. And he joins me now from Arizona. Uh, thank you for coming on the programme. Now, you were among uh, the first rioters into the Capitol building. In a sense, you know, your image of the, the headdress and the horns became symbolic of this attack on American democracy. Uh, my first question is, do you regret it now? Well, first of all, um, I noticed in the clips that you guys showed that you did not show the clip of Donald Trump talking about going to the Capitol peacefully. Secondly, I uh, am not a rioter. I did not riot on that day. And um, lastly, uh, if we look into the claims that were made and the amount of cases all over the country regarding this notion of election right. fraud, and dead people voting and, you know, uh, ballot harvesting and, and uh, you know, drop boxes and stuff like that, then okay. many of these claims may not be unfounded. And all of those things could easily be right. subpoenaed during so, Trump's trial. Now, my, right. regarding my, this idea of regrets, um, we all have regrets in life, sir. But if we live in the past and we allow our regrets to weigh down our minds and our hearts, then we cannot spiritually ascend. We cannot become better men. We cannot right. become better women. So you, so you do regret it. See, the well, reason I ask, I regret. I the reason I ask is that you, you say it wasn't a riot, and you say that it was Donald no, Trump was I, talking no, about it being was, peaceful. I did, I did not riot. No, no. What I said so, was, right. I did not riot. Okay, and you said Donald Trump said it should be peaceful, but effectively, the people who went into the Capitol building forced a crucial session of Congress to be abandoned, sent fear throughout the building, and dozens of police were injured. So it sounds to me like it wasn't peaceful and it was a riot. Well, I said I didn't riot. That's what I said. There was certainly a riot outside, but inside the building, there was largely peaceful demonstrations going on. There, the only real casualty was a woman that was five foot nothing and was shot by a Capitol Police officer, and she was unarmed. Um, so, uh, and also I wanted to speak to this notion. We don't live in a democracy here in the United States of America. We live in a constitutional Republic and the operation mockingbird media just, just keeps pushing this notion that this is a democracy. This is a democracy. You know, Benjamin Franklin once said that a democracy is two wolves and a lamb voting on what's for dinner. And a Republic is a well-armed lamb contesting the vote. And I well, think that that sh is a distinction that should be made clear. Well, you can elect a president every four years and, uh, you know, and it does go on and there were no suggestions that the last election um, was fraudulent. I just wonder about, you know, Donald Trump, because he's now charged with spreading lies to overturn the election. You bought into those lies. I just wonder if you're angry uh, that you've spent such a long time in prison because of the lies and the deceit of... Donald Trump. Well, if you watch the documentary 2000 Mules and you look at the evidence regarding the election, then it's quite clear that not only was the 2020 election rigged and corrupted, but pretty much every election uh, since Kennedy and even beforehand has been corrupted. I mean, the only reason Kennedy got into office was because his uh, father had connections with the mob, the CIA and the FBI. But, and this is but, a proven but Jacob, fact. Th there's so, no evidence. But hold on, hold on. But there's no, no evidence no, no, the 2020 election you're, was you're, fraudulent. What you're doing, there's no evidence. No, what you're doing is Simply you're, you're no now, hold on, hold on. No, no, that's not true. And there was no evidence whatsoever that uh, that Donald Trump was colluding with Russia. But that didn't stop the media from pushing that narrative and spying on his campaign and spying on him as a president for four years. That didn't stop them from pushing you, those lies that have never believe, been retracted. Do you still they believe never been the retracted. election was stolen? Do you still believe the election was stolen? Have you read the book Rigged? I just, I'm asking you, do you still believe the election was stolen? 
I believe that the election in 2020, like the election here in Arizona in 2022, just like many elections over the last several decades, are rigged. They are selection really? processes, not election processes. Well, because that- there is a very real shadow government, a very real bureaucratic mess in Washington, D.C., that is connected to globalist New World Order interests that are trying to monopolize all of our resources and all of our labor all over the planet. They are trying to enslave the planet. Right. Isn't the stolen election theory just one of the conspiracy theories uh, spouted by QAnon? I mean, do you still believe a secret cabal controls global governments, do you still believe Hollywood and the liberal Democrat elite crave the blood of children in a bid to sustain their youth and run a vast paedophile ring devoted to abduction and sexual abuse of children? Uh, do you uh, believe those do you, things? Do you mean like what Jeffrey Epstein was doing? Do, do you believe Is those things? Is that what you're talking things? about, things like that? Do, do you, do you, hold on. Do you, are you aware of the Council on Foreign Relations? Are you aware of the Bilderberg Group? Are you aware but, of the, senior, uh, the IMF? The, are you, you're you're putting so it about the, that senior you... Democrat politicians were involved in a vast. Oh, it's, it's Republicans ring. and Democrats. No, no, no. It's Republicans and Democrats because. So you still thing, believe bro. this stuff? Look into you... the Franklin cover-up. Look so you... into the Franklin cover-up. Okay, <laughs> what we're talking about here is a uniparty in D.C. that has Wait. been blackmailed or coerced right. into submission to a right. much larger global what, new world order. Jacob, and Jacob what we're facts, talking bro. about here is zero evidence. That's what we're talking about here. Look, no, we, no, no, no that's not on. what we're talking about if, here. If, if Donald Trump is found guilty, what will happen? Will there be unrest, do you think? Does he have enough support? Well, Does he still have that kind of support that would, that would cause unrest? Here's the thing. The conspiracy charge was used to go after mafia members, and it has since been used to go after American citizens for a long time. And it's very easy to get a conviction based on a conspiracy charge. Okay, that's why they charged him with conspiracy. Now, this may end up backfiring because the information regarding the election will end up becoming public knowledge through these court filings. So this may end up snapping back on the people that are pressing these charges because now it all is going to be out in the open and the very real evidence that there was fraudulent or um, rigged Le, uh, certain portions of the election. I mean, there, think about it. Every no time, there is no evidence. Hold on, hold on, Jacob, hold on, dude. Spent, hold on, dude. We spent every about time, seven or eight minutes every talking time, about conspiracies. We every time, there, hold on, hold on. I every just, time the Democrats lose an election, they scream election fraud and they scream election rigging. Every time the Republicans lose, they scream election fraud and election rigging. Yep. So the centrist view, the objective view, is that our elections are corrupt in the United States of America, and they have been corrupt for a long time. But Jacob, this time now, there is no evidence do... that the 2020 election That's not true at all. You're, you're lying. There is no you're evidence. lying. Look, we're, OK, we could go on all night. We're talking about conspiracies an awful lot, so we might as well end it there. But listen, I appreciate you coming on the program. Conspiracy theory is something... Conspiracy theory is a title that was used by the CIA and the media after nobody buyed what... Thank you very much, Jacob.